SprintCarUnlimited.com's Jeremy Elliott with Dirt Track Digest, Mike Mallett at Soggy Volusia Speedway Park. Mike, they got it in. They got it in by moments, I think, because as soon as the A-Main completed, Darren Pittman was celebrating again in Victory Lane, and uh, yeah, then it opened up and started raining, and that was it. We're all done. It's amazing that uh, the race we saw it was unbelievable between Christopher Bell and Darren Pittman. Darren Pittman gets the win over Christopher Bell and a fast closing Donnie Shots. Mike, I was surprised at how wide the track got and how dicey it was. And it went nonstop again, second night in a row. And I, I just can't believe the passing that we saw. That was a heck of a race. I, I want to say hell of a race. Screw it. I'll say hell of a race. Wow. It, Christopher Bell and Darren Pittman. Uh, Dicing it out. I mean, that's all you can say. Changing lines, slide jobs. You had everything you expect from a really good sprint car race. And again, caution free. You throw in the traffic there as well. I think the best quote we just got from Darren Pittman was I thought I was going to get past in the last lap. There's a black car next to me. I was wondering why he didn't pinch me down. He didn't even realize it was a lap car. That's how intense the battle was uh, there at the end. You know, he, he got by Bell and kind of made a mistake. Thought Bell got back to him. And unfortunately, Bell wasn't there. And But what, what a race. I mean, what a race. And again, what a start to the season for Darren Pittman. Boy, I'll say, I mean, we see this every year. I mean, last year it was Donnie Schatz, and normally it's Donnie Schatz. But Darren Pittman, second, third, first, first. Do we write the gate? We just write, give him the gator now. It's not over till it's over. You never, you never, you never give the big gator away until you give the big gator away, as they say. And so far, though, he's earned it. I mean, you cannot have a better week than Darren Pittman has had so far here. And you know, you, you mentioned Donnie Shots. He finally got things rolling. He finally got a podium finish here out of the way, and he looked good in that A main too. He just didn't couldn't quite get over that hump to put himself in the mix there with, with Christopher Bell and, and Pittman at the front. With Pittman, I mean, this is a perfect place for him to start. KKR was always good here. I think he has good notes here. I think that works. Brent Ventura's crew chief's young, doing a great job. And you mentioned Donnie Schatz. Look, coming into this event, he passed 36 cars in three features. He just didn't start near the front. Started seventh again tonight and drove it into third. I thought at one point he was going to catch him and get in the mix. Yeah, he was. It looked like he was coming, then he just kind of hit a wall, and that and that was kind of where he was. He was stuck, you know. And in typical Donnie Shots fashion, never satisfied. He started moving around, changing lanes, doing different things, trying to find that groove that nobody else is in that'll help him get to the front. And fortunately for him, it didn't work out tonight. You know, people shouldn't. This does not mean the season's going to end like this. You know, look, Darren Pittman said it best when when he, we talked to him is, you know, it's early. Florida doesn't mean anything, but he's having a great time. I would, too, if I had those numbers. Donnie Schatz will eventually take over at the top of the <laughs> leaderboard in the points. I mean, come on. We, we no, agree. How do you? Right. I'm just joking with you. I'm yeah, laughing. Yeah, yeah. The no, elite Donnie Schatz will get things rolling. I'm going to use that twice today. And he will make a run. <laughs> and at some point, you expect him to be at the top of the points, regardless of who leads the points, leaving here and whatever happens here in the next few weeks. Again, long season. You know, we're talking about how great Pittman's, uh, you know, things are going for him, but the racing gods are fickle. You know, the way things start are not always the way they finish. And, you know, everybody, you know, gets on the surface and things go well for a while and then things go terrible but I mean if you're Pittman ride it while you can and grab onto it when it tries to buck you off and, and hold on to it and see what you can do absolutely a couple guys that didn't have good nights Shane Stewart ran in the back a lot just didn't time well David Gravel didn't time well uh, have some work to do yeah the track was a little different tonight it seemed like well, when they came out for time trials and that kind of threw some guys off it was you know the last couple of nights you've seen the beginning cars kind of struggled with speed tonight those first few cars out were fast, and those were the guys that sat near the top. And if you pulled a bad pill and were mid to the, you know, mid to the, the late in the pack, you were not going to set a good time and be up front. And unfortunately, some of those guys, that's what happened to them. And that's how it goes. You know, sometimes, you, got, you know, again, the luck's on your side. Sometimes it's not tonight, was it? Motors, big story again. I saw Ian Madsen unload one, had to change. A couple other guys. It's just this place is hard on motors. Tim Schaefer's down to his Ohio motor, and that just isn't going to work at Volusia with the speeds they have here. No, Volusia is, you know, world's fastest half mile, and, I mean, every ounce of motor you can get, you, you can use it here. You know, standing in the infield during the heat races and stuff, and I was over in turn one, you can just hear the motors screaming when they go by it because they're on it and they're off it so little here uh, when it comes to, you know, the carrying the momentum around this track and doing what you have to do to be fast here so it's all motor all you can get and as fast as you can go and right now Darren Pittman seems to have it figured out we're wet we're soggy we're gonna get out of the rain it's coming down pretty good it's sprintcarlimited.com Jeremy Elliott with Mike Mal from Dirt Track Digest stay tuned tomorrow for another race recap all right